Our philosophy has always been um, to work with local farmers and source things responsibly. Know knowing that all of our, our meat um, came from animals that were raised humanely, that's very important to me. You know, I like having that connection with our food, not just thinking about what you're going to put on the plate and, and what you're going to charge for it, but starting from the very beginning and thinking about, you know, where it's coming from and, and making sure that it's, it's, it's real food. So I'm making the, uh, the pasta for the goat with the rolled pasta dish. So the filling that we're using today is goat meat that we get from Windy Hill Farms. So the pasta dough is uh, it's, it's some of the bread flour that we use. We use some of the bread flour because it's kind of just a really high quality flour. The eggs are from either Simmons or Milagro Farms and it has a little bit of semolina, whole eggs and egg yolks. So these are the, uh, the rolls that Sam made. We're just gonna sear them off on both cut sides. So as we're getting a little bit of color on both sides, add a little bit of stock. And I'm gonna put a cover on that so it'll steam and cook that pasta. And we kinda let this go for a minute or so and then we're gonna add a mole. So you can see as the pasta's cooking, we're also glazing it and thickening that, that sauce down to coat it. At the end, we'll finish with a little bit of lime juice. Now, uh, now we're gonna plate it. So this is just uh, roasted butternut, a little bit of uh, our house creme fraiche. We have a granola that we've added uh, mesquite flour to. And then on top of all of that, we've got a little bit of pickled butternut squash and onion and cilantro. We cook food that we like to eat and hope that enough people out there enjoy it as well. And, um, uh, that's, that's really what it's all about. Um, we, we, we draw influences from all over the place and, and try to just stick, stay true to the, the ingredients.